Today I would like to show you how you can create really wide backgrounds uh, out of your portrait photos. Now some of you uh, occasionally take photos of uh, portraits uh, like this one you see on the screen. Uh, this one is a, it's a basic photo that I took of uh, some staff member earlier this year and uh, they wanted the background to be to be white. They didn't specify where they could put this image uh, afterwards but uh, uh, now they have contacted me again because they found out that when they put this one on a totally white background web page uh, you still see some grey areas in it. I will show you an example of how it looked. Uh, I found this random uh, page uh, on the net the other day and as you can see on this particular image here to the left the woman and her background is not totally white. Uh, on the top corners you can clearly see at least on my screen uh, that the areas here over here are grey and uh, in order to to make them white you can either jump into Photoshop and, and uh, select the area and delete it and uh, it will be white but if you're running in Lightroom uh, there's an, another way of doing it and uh, the reason why, why it's uh, grey like this is because the flash that is behind the person uh, doesn't have the the amount of light enough to to create an overexposed background overall. Down down here you can you can see that it's white, but uh, on above it's still it's still a bit grey. So we're going to fix that right away. So let's move into Lightroom again. Uh, so this is my portrait that I took uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, it's not white as well. It looks white when you look on the back of your display in your camera and uh, I just left the background as it is. So now that I want to have it totally white, first of all I have to find out if it's white uh, uh, or should I say uh, overexposed already on some areas and to see that I simply just press this little arrow about here and you can see that uh, it pops up a red color indicator in the, in the image. And this uh, indicator shows you that wherever there's red, uh, the image is overexposed, uh, which means there's no information here, it's blank. Now, so how do we, uh, in the best way, create all of this area around the person into total, total white? Well, we start off by just adjusting the his uh, histogram, by dragging, as you can see, the histogram is going from from black to white and since there is a lot of uh, white areas in this image uh, it's going to be very high uh, on the right side I'm going to drag this one to the right and as you can see the, the red area fills up very much and, and the overexposure is is uh, getting wider now the consequences of doing this is that all white areas in this image will be affected. Uh, it's, it's kind of hard to see right now but uh, I'm just gonna drag this until I'm, I'm satisfied and uh, I don't uh, think that the overall image is is, uh, is affected so I think I'm satisfied over there somewhere. Now what about the rest? What we can see here is already overexposed and it's going to be totally white so if I just tap this one it's roll over it you'll see that it's uh, it looks it looks white over here in the corner it's still a bit a bit of information even though it's hard to see for the eye uh, but the computer knows it and if I switch over to a white background you can clearly see that it's not white over here it's it. So to make the rest of the area uh, overexposed I'm just gonna use the adjustment brush. I'm going to set the exposure to maximum and make sure that auto mask is selected and then 
with a, with a good sized brush. Uh, I just paint on top of this. But when I get close to the corners of the person, I try to stay right outside and the auto mask will find the edges for me. Now, it's done and the whole background is overexposed and totally white and will look uh, awesome on my client's webpage without any grey areas.